What's up guys, this is Crypto with James talking to you today about Telcoin. Now, Telcoin have got massive partners. Like you cannot under understate how big these partners are. Um, and while I'm not necessarily sure this is gonna like break a new all time high or anything, I still think this has got pretty damn good price appreciation to come. Um, I'm gonna talk about this and what would need to happen for them to break a new all time high as well. Uh, before I get into any of that though guys, if you're new to the channel, uh, these are the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. In the videos I showed everyone that I was buying up all these coins um, because I expected them to have pretty damn good profits. And you can see what the profits would have been off of the hundred, off of a hundred dollars into each one. Uh, so that would have been a $2,600 investment in total, your net profit from that, if you'd have sold just 18 months on would have been over 123k which is not bad, obviously. Now I sold all of these and since the market crashed, I have been buying up new coins. Whenever I buy a crypto, I go onto my website, which is copymycrypto.com and I share it with the members. So what I will tell them is the coin, what kind of profits I think the coin can have, what kind of, what percentage of my money I'm putting into it. And then from there they can copy along. There is literally no work for any of the members and they can make the exact same profits I do. When I sell a coin, I also do the same thing. I let my members know what coin I'm selling, what percentage of my holdings I'm selling, and then what I'm doing with profits, whether it's reinvesting it, whether it's putting it into a bank or under my mattress. Um, and again, they can copy a lot. Um, and, you know, there's a reason that we have over three and a half, well, three and a half thousand members now is because of uh, the successes that we've had. And if you go over to copymycrypto.com now, on the site, you will see things I've said in the past, how the members have uh, got on since joining, and all of it's public record. So you can literally read through the entire site, then go on to this channel's old videos, confirm everything you read, and make a decision if it's something that you would like to try. Um, so pause this video now to go do that, guys, because you do want to check this out. Right, Telcoin. So Telcoin is interesting. So it's the native medium of exchange, it's the reserve asset and the protocol token of the tel Telcoin user-owned DeFi platform. Now, Tel enables end users to seamlessly access and power a global suite of user-owned decentralized financial products. Tel incentives coordinate uh, market participants such as telecoms and active users to provide specific value-added services to end users of the platform. Um, now, the Telcoin uh, platform is a user-owned DeFi-powered uh, platform, and it's got is active for uh, Telcoin users, mobile network operators, and financial providers. They were established in 2017, um, and they leverage blockchain tech to provide all the DeFi services on any mobile device, and that's kind of the beauty of this. They also have um, Telcoin remittances, which is focused on high speed, low cost uh, digital money transfers to mobile platform, mobile money platforms and e-wallets. Now, since being up and running, um, they have, they, their, their goal is to sort of onboard as many different um, telecommunications companies as well as individuals as retail users and you know obviously there are over 5 billion um, people that use phones on a sort of daily basis right uh, telecoms are positioned to provide the largest base of existing known global retail users with uh, financial products via their mobile phones um, and as of right now I think 68 billion coins, was it out? Yeah, 68 billion coins are out. Uh, there's going to be 100 billion in total. Um, but Telcoin, the whole premise is create low cost, high quality financial products for everyone. Um, and the people that they are working with are pretty spectacular. Um, so, where is it? Da -da 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 -da. So the company, there we go. And let's open up all remittances. 
But as you can see, they're still hiring. There's jobs available, um, which is always a good sign when some, someone's when companies are hiring during a uh, a bear cycle. Uh, they have positions in LA and Tokyo and Kuala Lumpur, Hong Kong, uh, Norfolk, um, Singapore, Sydney, Australia, um, London, Vancouver. Uh, they are positioned everywhere. And it is, the, it is very much a customer facing product. It is very much all about, um, all about the users. Now, uh, as of right now, they have, uh, they joined the EU operations in, uh, sort of April. Um, and I think that, yeah, that was in Lithuania. So they're up and running in Lithuania as well. Um, they continue to add very cool little features to their platform. Um, and again, sending money across through uh, Telcoin is about as simple as it gets. It costs uh, a fraction of what it costs everywhere else. Western Union's like $4.68, send 200 bucks. Telcoin's only $2.40. Um, and you can receive money in every, basically every possible country. Um, now, What's also worth noting, guys, is this has continued in the past uh, couple of years, continued to really onboard users. That's their biggest goal. They are actually onboarding users at a pretty good rate. Um, and I am I'm expecting that we'll see Telcoin start widening the potential options for, um, for DeFi tools. Because as of right now, they, yes, they have the Telcoin uh, platform, which uh, allows for you know crypto swaps and everything else. Um, I'm really interested to see if they can start introducing uh, products like uh, what's it, lending and borrowing products. Uh, the question is, is obviously how easy is that going to be within the um, the ecosystem uh, within each country that they operate you know they're gonna have to go through a ton of regular regulatory sort of discussions to ensure that that's all okay because some countries seem to see it be anti-defi um for obvious reasons uh can't have people having freedom guys uh but the telcoin app is one of the easiest and most simple to use like i say they've got um they've got fiat on ramps as well uh, so it's very, very easy to get started. Um, and again, remittances cost absolutely nothing. Uh, tons of different cryptos are available now because they're, you could, because they're all uh, through the Telecoin app. And I think it's all through, is it Polygon? Just saw Polygon. Uh, Ethereum. And Polygon, yeah, Polygon. The Polygon fuels it. So as you can see, there's lots of different cryptos that you can swap, trade. I'm sure this is not a complete list either. Um, very interesting product. And they use Rivendell as the settlement. So if, if you're familiar with Rivendell, Rivendell is the uh, is like a side chain kind of thing for, uh, for Ethereum. Um, and again, just very, very cool. I'm, li I'm liking the idea um they need to build some more interesting DeFi um options and offerings for for users uh because what they've got here is an is a product that everyone can use everyone has a phone everyone wants to be able to do stuff on their phone they, they you know five billion people could have access to this but they've got to market this well and I've not seen any Telcoin marketing at all. Um, if they market this really, really well, this could break its previous high. Because I've not seen evidence of them marketing this effectively, I'm kind of capping how high I think this can go, about three cents. But that is still a massive, massive increase from where it's at right now. Um, Telcoin is, you know, on the centralized exchange wise, KuCoin, Bybit, BitGet, all of these. If you're gonna get it, I would recommend BitGet. 
The reason for that, BitGet is going to be a top five exchange. They are already outstanding. Their earn mechanisms are the best in the world. Um, they have the largest copy trading community in the world. They have one of the best uh, sign-up offers in the world at the moment, which is if you sign up, you can get a thousand bucks in rewards. Um, and because I, I've partnered with them, there is a partner link in the description that will give you discounts on trading fees so that you can save money when you're trading. Um, and that means you earn more crypto. So if you're going to get Telcoin, use BitGet because, like I said, you'll get some uh, discounts on trading fees if you use the link in the description. Um, so for me, Telcoin is one of those where I think, honestly, it can bang up to three cents. But the biggest thing is marketing. The biggest thing is advertising. The biggest thing is onboarding users. As of right now, the apps have been downloaded insane amounts, but they have to get more users. They have to get and they have to do that through effective marketing. So I want to see that in, I don't know, in football matches. I want to see that in, on, I want to see adverts on TV. I want to see, uh, you know, banner ads online. I want to see articles online. I want to see them effectively marketing. And if they do that, this will bang. Because everyone has access to a phone, or most people have access to a phone. You've got an unlimited amount of people that this can be brought to. It's fast. It's really cheap. It could work for millions of people, but unless millions of people know about it, it ain't going to do huge price moves. Um, if they market and do all that effectively, I think this could break its previous high. I really do. But if they don't, I cap it maybe three cents. And that's probably the highest I would see it going if... They don't market. But that's always the big thing. They've got to market. They've got to advertise. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think this can run up higher? Do you think this can break a new all-time high? If you use Telcoin to send money around uh, or do remittances or what, uh, however they term it, or use any of the DeFi tools, how do you find it? Do you like it? Is it easier to use that than, say, use a Uniswap? Let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. And... If you want to just make crypto easier on yourself, take the work out of it, make everything simpler, make the same profits I do except doing absolutely no work whatsoever, then head over to copymycrypto.com because that's the site I run where I share with everyone on the site every single thing I'm doing. So anytime I buy a crypto, I let them know about what the crypto is, the kind of profits I think it can have, the percentage of my money I'm putting in, and they can copy. And it's the same when I sell. There is no work involved for any of the members. The successes that we've had have drove, driven the growth of the, of the membership. Um, and if you go into copymycrypto.com now, what you will see are what the history of what the members have achieved. You'll see on the site as well everything that I've said in the past and what ended up happening. And all of it is public record. It's all on the history of this YouTube channel. So after you read it, if you want to confirm it all, just go on to the old videos on this channel and you'll do that. Um, and you can make a decision if it's something that you like to try out. And if you do, wonderful. I'll see you there. Uh, and that is it from me. Take care. Bye-bye.